Welcome to the Central Florida Gardening Show. I'm on the Central Florida Gardening Show with Tiva today. And today we're talking about the common lupus squash. There's lots of different kinds of boards, but today we're going to be mostly talking about the lupus squash. We have these big leaves, and over here we have these flowers. They come out in the evening really big and yellow. And if you look inside here, there's these little black ants that eat all these aphids. See them all? And we have some over here. We have this big uh, lupus squash that's gonna grow. We probably cut it in two and there'll be two sponge squashes. I mean sponges. And over here we have another one that's starting to grow by a uh, old scarecrow. These grapes are vining over them. You probably cut this one into two. And this is what it looks like when it's done. This one's cut in two. And you can use it for tons of things. First thing you can use is a back rubber or scratcher. You can use it for massages. You can even use it for bathes or washing dishes or the food on. And back rubbers and lots of things. And there's these pollinators. Now, there's these bees that go in up. If you look in this flower, there's this bee pollinating. And she's been going around for a while. And before we go, I want to say one more last thing. There's different types of gourds. There's all types of gourds. There's even lots of types of lufa sponges. And I'm going to tell you about, I'm going to say two of them. There's the bottle gourd, which they used to make in drums and lots of things and rattles and stuff. And we have the snake gourds. You can paint them and they'll look exactly like snakes and you can sell them and stuff. And that's about all about the gourds. Take a look. Central Florida Garden Show with Robin, Chris, and Siva. Bye bye! To learn more about Lufa, check out www.lufa.info. And uh, this is uh, a site maintained by the Blumenstock family um, near, uh, near Elizabethan, Tennessee, or Elizabethan, Tennessee. Not for sure how to pronounce it. But they have some great photographs on here. Um, they show uh, there's a lot of great photos of pollination. And um, uh, with, uh, these loofahs do attract a lot of bees and pollinators. Um, there's also some really good growing um, advice, and they have some nice photos uh, ex uh, to sort of explain their explanations. They have photos to complement the explanations. But my favorite part of this is to look at their harvesting. And um, the, their harvesting section really shows you the technique for harvesting the sponges out drying and uh, the, you know waiting till the loofah gets a little brown and then peeling it off and then smashing it on the ground uh, to loosen the sponge up inside and then you can pour your seeds out and then basically you just tear the outer skin off and there's your loofah sponge that you can wash and dry out and they should have a couple they have a couple of videos on here of washing the sap from these sponges um, outside then you can let them dry and bathe with that sponge all year long.